So I'm going to do the Netflix tag today. Why don't you stay and join me? <laughs> Take off your coat, stay a while. Okay. So, yeah, this is a, a book tag that's been going around. I have not been tagged by anyone. I also, yeah, no, I have not been tagged by anyone. The original creator is A Darker Shade of Whitney, which you should go check her out. I will leave a link for her. And, yeah. Hmm. Okay, so. Okay. So the first one is Recently Watched, the last book you finished reading. So the last book that I finished reading was Mind the Gap Volume 1, which is a really good book. You should check that out. I really enjoyed it. I don't know what else to say about it. Okay. A two, top picks, a book slash books that you've been recommended based on books that you've previously read. Well, oh, excuse me. Um... So, when going that route, I've been recommended Cinder, which I did eventually read that book. I've been recommended a bunch of, like, superhero comics by certain people that I haven't read. I've been recommended Good Omens by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman, which I'm currently reading, but I'm... I don't know where I fall with it. Like, I kind of like it, but I kind of don't like it. And it's kind of boring, but kind of interesting. Really don't know where I'm going with that. I've also been re recommended this book, Fun House by Alison Bechdel. Oh, shit. I got that right. Alison Bechdel. Fun House. Fun Home. It's Fun Home. Fun Home. I always call it Fun House. I don't know why. I've been recommended that. Have not read that yet. Had it for a while now. Probably should read that. <clears throat> okay. Moving on. Number three. Recently added. What is the last book you bought? Well, the last book I bought is probably going to be the book that I'm going to talk about next. After this video. <laughs> which is Peter Panzerfaust. Yeah. That's the last book I bought. Sadly. Um, number four. Popular on Netflix. Books that everyone knows about that you've read. Oh, two you've read and two you haven't. Okay. Books that everyone knows about. Okay. Books that everyone knows about that I have not read. Anything by uh, Sarah something Mass. Like M-A-A-S Mass. Like, it's Sarah Mass, right? Like, any of her books. I've never read, but everyone knows about them, and I'm like, makes nothing. Ooh, more books that everyone knows about that I've never read. Anything by Rainbow Ralph, is it? Never read. Books that everyone knows about that I have read would be Cinder, would be like the Twilight books. I've read about those, Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, read those a long time ago, 13 Reasons Why. <sighs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Alright. Number five. Comedies. A funny book. I, well, I wouldn't consider any books that I have to be particularly funny. More like, oh, that's an inside joke when it's like the seventh book of a series kind of thing. Um, I did once read a book by Willie Allen. Did I say Willie Allen? I think it said Willie Allen. Woody Allen. I meant Woody Allen. Um, I did read a book by Woody Allen one time. I didn't find it funny, but my brother thought it was hilarious. I thought it was just, like, a bunch of, like, random ramblings. I also read a book by Jerry Seinfeld. Again, my brother thought it was hilarious. I never... Uh, it's just like, I don't get it. Okay, cool, whatever. I mean, the show's kind of funny when you talk about the soup Nazi and the girl with man hands. But the book was not that funny. Okay, six, dramas. A character who is a drama queen slash king. <sighs> Cinder's mom. Cinder's stepmother. Slash Cinder's owner. I don't really know what she is. She seems like a drama queen. Total drama queen. Um, hmm. Who else seems like a drama queen? That's all I can think of off the top of my head. She, drama queen. 
I don't really read a lot of drama or people that have drama and are drama queens. Okay, seven. Animated. A book with cartoons on the cover. Oh, shit. Do I have a book with cartoons on the cover? <laughs> um... Legends of Sp Zeta the Space Girl. I think that would be uh, as cartoon as possible. But I love the pet mouse. He's adorable. I would love a pet mouse like that. I'm going to a thread. Other than that, pretty much any superhero comic that, that I have. <laughs> cartoon. I mean, isn't cart- like, what defines a cartoon? Really. Because you could justify almost any comic book I read. Okay. Number eight. Watch it again. A book or series that you want to reread. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Mmm. And Harry Potter. Now, I've reread Harry Potter like a thousand times. Oh, right now, I'm currently rereading The Runaways by Brian K. Vaughn. Because that series is fucking fabulous. Ah, oh, it's so good. Ah, oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, I'm getting them in the really, like, thick, like, collecting books now. Like, you had the individual issues, and then you have, like, the trader backs. But now I'm getting them in, like, the really, like, thick ones. <sighs> That's literally, like, Runaways, the complete collection, volume one. The Runaways, the complete collection, volume two. Yeah, I'm getting those in those collections now. I'm rereading those two as, I, as I'm getting them to. <laughs> okay. So, The Runaways by Brian K. Vaughn. Actually, it's not called The Runaways. It's just Runaways. Okay. Let's see. Nine. Documentaries. A nonfiction book that you'd recommend to everyone. The Vulgar Tongue. Do I still have it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Shit, I didn't do that. Okay. So this is... Let me get that sticker off. That's probably why. Okay, this is by Jonathan Green. It is called The Vulgar Tongue. Green's History of Slang. Oh, yeah. It is quite interesting. It is quite large as well. It's quite a big book, to be honest. But it's a book that I quite enjoyed. But then again, I really love words. Even though I can't say half of them, more like 80% of them do not want to come out of my mouth right, but I love words. And I find it so interesting how we incorporate slang into our daily language, and especially in high school and in college. Like, any kind of school area or place of education, we kind of take words and it becomes slang somehow. And I just think that's, like, really cool. You know, so, like... If, in fact, one word that I say all the time that's not really, like, a popular slang word is coolio, like, K-O-O-L-I-O. -O -O. And, like, if someone's like, oh, you know, blah, 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 and it's like they're informing me of something, not really, like, a question, you don't really have, like, I don't have anything to say back to that, I would say, coolio. Whatever. Um, so, yeah, I suggest that. I also have another book. Same shelf, gonna knock shit down. <sighs> Let me take that sticker off too. And this one is more of psychology. It's called Geek Shall Inherit the Earth. And it is by Alexander Robbins. And it goes through all the stereotypical geeks and psychology behind them and how they interact with others. So, yeah. I, I really liked it. Now, of course, not everyone would like something like this. Not everyone would like The Vulgar Tongue. But I think both of those should be read. Especially if you're in high school or about to go into high school. Read Geeks Shall Inherit the Earth. It says, Popularity, Quick Quirk Theory, and Why Outsiders Thrive After High School. Okay? You feeling like an outsider in high school, I suggest you read The Geeks Shall Inherit the Earth. Okay. Number 10. Action and adventure. 
an action-packed book. Really? Okay. Okay, Whitney. An action-packed book. Mm. The Runaways. Excuse me. Runaways. Like shit. Like shit goes on in that book. Like every time you flip a page, new shit's going on. Captain America makes multiple, multiple appearances in Runaways, okay? Now you definitely have to read it. Um, okay. <laughs> Number 11. A book that just came out slash will be coming out that you can't wait to read. Oh, okay. So you have East of West, Volume 7. Yes, Volume 7. You have The Wicked and the Divine, Volume 4. No, I lied, sorry. Volume 5. Volume 4, I came out. Volume 5. And those are the two that I'm most excited to read. Like, I'm just... Why won't you come out sooner? Number 12, Max. Tag some people. Oh, well, I wasn't tagged, so I don't tag anyone. Actually, you know what? I've been watching uh, Peter Mon from Peter Likes Books a lot recently, and he's saying that no one tags him, so this is official. You've been tagged, and then Netflix tag. So, yeah, Peter. Mr. Mon. Feels weird to call you Mr. Mon. Please, please, please read that. Not read that. Please do this. I think it would be interesting to see what books you go up with. Okay. I'm going to go now. This is where everyone says, hey, follow me on social media, except I don't really do that much social media. I only have an Instagram and a Goodreads. So go follow me on Instagram so you can see adorable pictures of my cat. Yes, the one that can't stop fucking biting my feet. Aww. I hope you heard a meow. That was adorable. Maple. Maple comes. Okay.